Well, yours truly bounced back nicely last week. Two and one overall after Wisconsin's convincing win over Michigan. And by the way, TCU, no problem at all with Texas Tech. So I go two out of three. Oklahoma State was my loss. Yeah, the Cowboys didn't cover. In fact, they did not win the game. So I go two and one. The coin and I disagreed on Wisconsin, Michigan, explaining why the coin went one and two. So overall, Yep, with just two weeks to go, it's a dead heat between me and the coin. Let's find out who will survive. Yes, it is the final regular season week of the college football season, but don't forget, next week we'll also be picking conference championship games as well. We pick three games per week. If the coin lands on heads, likes a favorite, tails, well, it's going to go with the underdog. So let's begin our picks for this week. Remember, the coin and I are dead even. And all three of the games will be picking our rivalry games. Beginning with Clemson at South Carolina. Clemson, big favorites to win at Columbia, South Carolina. Clemson, of course, next week, ACC championship game. Still involved in the national title mix, otherwise the playoff. But Clemson can't get there if they lose this week and or next week. With Miami coming up next week, I know South Carolina's a rival. It's going to be hard for me to believe that Clemson will be putting all their chips in this game. Mentally, it's going to be hard for them to not think about Miami next week. So I think this game comes at a bad time. I think Clemson wins it, but I think it's going to be tougher than you might think against a decent South Carolina team. So give me the Gamecocks plus the 13.5. And, and the coin? Well, the coin likes Clemson. I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Speak a little louder next time. Let's go to Texas A&M at LSU. And... Of course, you probably have heard the talk that this, um, if what you're hearing is true, this will be the final game for Kevin Sumlin as A&M head coach. And we knew this is going to be a tough year for him, and it's been um, kind of that. They're, they're going to have a winning record, but the point is that A&M is not contending for SEC championships, which is what A&M faithful expect. And by the way, you got to play LSU on the road. LSU is not a great team, but they're a good team. And A&M, since joining the SEC, has never beaten LSU. And I don't see that trend ending with A&M dealing with the fact that this most likely will be it for Kevin Sumlin. So give me LSU minus the 10. And the coin It's going to take LSU. I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Speak a little louder next time. Finally, it is the Iron Bowl. Alabama at Auburn. The winner plays Georgia in the SEC championship game. By the way, the winner still on track. I think, to get to the college football playoff. Even with two losses, I think if Auburn wins the SEC, they'll get there. Auburn, they in the past have given Alabama fits. We know four years ago they did. I think Alabama probably pulls this off in a squeaker. But if you're going to give me four and a half points, I'll take them. It's going to be close. Auburn only has lost twice this season. Give me the Tigers at home plus the four and a half. And the coin, let's flip this real good here. It's going to take Auburn. I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Speak a little louder next time. You got rivalry games. It's going to be a fun weekend of college football. Don't forget my post game of Oklahoma versus West Virginia will be Saturday evening. Well, it's time now to go to my real job. Thanks for watching.